the harder the better <laughs> it's sort of what we're talking about here isn't it it's what so many believe the harder it is the better results and we say that defies everything that we know to be path of least resistance is the way the universe works path of least resistance you see but what happens is oh oh we love giving this to you so much because once you get in this mode of path of least resistance then all things are possible and things that seemed very difficult and hard aren't because the vibrational frequency of who you are and the momentum of all you've got going and all of the cooperative components that are assisting you come into place Esther has in her ranch in Texas she's got a big iron bull that stands right at the entrance and it's not because it's Texas it's because Jerry always told the story he said to Esther that he used to tease her about this because he would watch her in the things that she had learned to do the computer she's learned to program and the understanding that she has of so many things and not just the receiving and the translating but all of the talents that she's developed in order to make things go easily and he said to her it's like the joke that I used to tell about the old farmer that picked a small calf up and lifted it over the fence and every day he picked the calf up and lifted it over the fence and he just did it every day and after a little while he was picking a great big old bull up and lifting it over the fence and he didn't even know that he was picking a great big bull up and lifting it over the fence because it had just become so natural to him so what happens is the more you ask and the more you allow the more you begin to perceive yourself as the worthy being the more you begin to understand that all things are possible the more insight you have the more cooperative components come to assist you then you continue to become broader and more expansive and more capable and more dynamic and more multitasking and more experiencing more things at the same time because you are allowing yourself to be the receiver on more levels at the same time you see what we're getting at but you got to get the struggle out of it first so when you ask for the dynamics of it before you've got the struggle out of it then that's that sensation that you were describing and we just want to softly call that trying too hard this conversation has been valuable for you we know it has been you've been resistant enough that you have drawn forth from us every conceivable thing that can be imagined <laughs> and therefore it has been beneficial to everyone hasn't it yes yes enough yes yes we're asking all of you does this seem like the path of least resistance <laughs> so you can get here and over here and up here and around here and around here. What is it with you <laughs> path of least resistance path of least resistance all playing with you but always think in terms of path of least resistance path of least resistance path of least resistance is also the path of most satisfaction it's the path of most fun no one else gets to decide for you but what feels the best to you and you don't have to justify the reasons that it feels the best but path of least resistance always feels the best to you just quickly the piece of information I picked up this morning which encouraged me to raise my hand today on the emotional scale 1 to 22 the top five are in the vortex so they are from optimism positive expectation enthusiasm fashion joy knowing empowerment on the way up we really are not wanting to categorize things in that way what we're really wanting to do is to talk about finding any one of them in other words rather than the frequency of the emotion we want to talk about the longevity of holding it we want to talk about the momentum of being in that place so that you're there consistently enough that you allow the momentum to flow and so your vortex we're not using that word as much as we once were because we are finding that as we talk to you about your path of least resistance that finds you wherever you are and leads you to something that feels better and better and better and better and better that feels better than vortex yes. to me yes because you are where you are and there's always something better and dovetailing into this and we'll talk about it more when we next get together we're wanting you to feel the poignancy and the perfection of these concepts so start with law of attraction which you all understand well 
and add to that this path of least resistance that we're talking about, which means your inner being stands as the fullness of all that you are and radiates a signal which is calling you in such a powerful way. Lights your path. That's your path of least resistance. And wherever you are, you are on your path. You're on your path. But the question is, how resistant are you in this moment to the motion of moving further and further and further into who you really are? And so now let's introduce into this conversation of law of attraction and path of least resistance, the subject of conditions. The subject of conditions that confuse you along your path. And now let's talk about unconditional let's talk about this translation of the vibration into the emotion and feel where that puts you on your path and then feel what looking at a condition that is unfulfilled sometimes does as it turns you in opposition to the natural flow of your path these are the things that we'll sort out when we next come together because the pieces are all coming together for you you're coming to this place where you can feel the fullness of who you are. And what we wish for all of you is that you find these pieces and then you get on with living this life. We're not wanting to draw you into the non-physical. We're not wanting to draw you into the theoretical. We're not wanting it to be a conceptual conversation. We're wanting you to feel the real life experience of clarity. We want the manifestations of clarity and appreciation and love to be something that you are feeling abundantly often and there's nothing that is more delicious than to find that place and maintain it consistently and then watch the conditions of your life take form as a result of that stance you see yeah. we are very happy that we have assembled we are happy that this leading edge group of people creators and non-physical cadre of energy has come together for the purpose of taking thought beyond that which it has been before. This has been a day to celebrate unto the boundaries of this boundaryless universe. There is great love here for you. And for now, we are content. So good. All right, you're on. At work, I'm in this small little office surrounded by some pretty Can you hear him? Pretty toxic people. And I just need to maintain a good feeling thought during that time and not be influenced by their combativeness. I guess. Your acknowledgement of the toxicity of them yes. is an indication of some momentum that's been going on. Yes. It's just the way you see them. And you see, what's more important, it's not whether they're toxic or not, is unimportant in this conversation. Your perspective that they are matters. Your perspective that they are is different than this perspective of your inner being. And that's why you are even able to call them toxic. It's why you even can pronounce in a negative way who they seem to be. Because your inner being doesn't see them that way. When Esther would find some reason to find fault with someone, Jerry's response, the majority of the time, always was, he would playfully say, oh, that's so interesting. They speak so kindly of you. <laughs> and it was usually an inanimate object. In other words, it was, she was talking about a drape or a stupid pillow or something, or sometimes a person. And Jerry would say, it's so interesting because that car has always spoken so kindly of you. And without even really knowing what he was doing, because it was before we were really emphasizing seeing the world from the eyes of source or this vibrational gap between the way source is seeing this situation and the way you're seeing it. You see, first you have to understand that as you are having any conversation with anyone, you're not out there on your own having that conversation because you are an extension of source energy and source is there with you. So source is having the experience with those people that you are calling toxic, but source is not calling them toxic. Source does not see them that way. Source sees them as blessed. Source sees them as worthy. Source sees them as doing the best they can do from where they are. And their inner beings are 
wanting to help them find the path of least resistance as your inner being is wanting to help you find the path of least resistance you see and so your perspective of them even though we know they've trained you into it we know you're just not making that up we know that some people are hard to live with we know that you're not making it up that it's a knee-jerk response to stuff and sometimes we say it's better to get yourself out of that condition than to let it beat you up all day every day all of these things are true but most of all we want you to understand that the negative emotion that you feel isn't about what they're doing it's about your perspective of what they're doing and you've got control over that you could soothe yourself you could soothe yourself and as you do fewer and fewer of those who are really vibrationally out of whack will come to you it's a hard thing to accept sometimes a sort of bitter pill to swallow that whatever is in your life is coming in response to you whatever is there so source and I had a little disagreement and I'm feeling the toxicity of it and uh, yeah. I need to get more in line with Esther that. says yeah. to us on a pretty regular basis as we say well that's not the way we see it and Esther will say well I think you need more information about it then <laughs> clearly you have not had the same experiences that I've been having that certainly is true that certainly is true here's the way to look at this the power of your negative emotion is proportionate to your positive desire if you were not really the lover that you are your hatred would not feel uncomfortable in fact hatred could not even be defined if it were not for love that's the value of the contrast that we're talking about you see so we want to make this less complicated we want to say to you if they're really toxic and you can do something about it get away from them because it's hard to start thinking lovely thoughts about someone who's right there sort of being a catalyst for the other and so path of least resistance doesn't say buck up path of least resistance doesn't say indoor you say well yeah but I can't just not go to work the path of least resistance is also just not going to work that's not the path of least resistance we say well maybe there's a path of least resistance that says go to some other work go to some other work and maybe it would be easier for you to feel better if you weren't specifically with those and maybe the path of least resistance isn't to do it right now maybe the path of least resistance is just to tell yourself that you could if you wanted to maybe the path of least resistance is just to stop feeling so trapped maybe the path of least resistance is to acknowledge that if you wanted to go you could or that sometime later you will or that this situation is temporary maybe that's the path of least resistance doesn't it feel a little better and then maybe the path of least resistance is to say well they're not as bad as I thought they were or there are a lot of sides to them and there are things about them that I like a little more than the others and maybe the path of least resistance is to begin looking for a list of positive aspects about them maybe the path of least resistance is to begin recognizing that there are qualities there that are really worth knowing maybe the path of least resistance is to find the power of your own mind in the direction of your own mind maybe the path of least resistance is to get feeling good and make that list and then notice what happens to the traffic of your life maybe the path of least resistance is to begin to find your own power to recognize when you come into concert with source that the power of your influence is stronger maybe the path of least resistance will show you that you'll zig and zag around them a little more and that the most toxic ones will begin to fade out of your experience and even though you're all still employed you will find yourself zigging and zagging and not interacting so much with those who make you uncomfortable and then maybe the path of least resistance is to discover that you're not uncomfortable at all maybe the path of least resistance will finally show you that you can stand in concert with source feeling good under all conditions maybe the conditions will really not be important to the way you feel maybe you will finally discover what unconditional love really is what unconditional life really is what unconditional alignment really is and all of that stuff that you thought you wanted to get away from may be the very thing that helps you to get there to that freedom to that only place where freedom is you see that's the only place where freedom is because it's freedom from your own resistance that you're seeking not from toxic others they're just reflecting back your own resistance don't you love knowing that yes yeah, <laughs> yeah it's great. And aren't you appreciating him helping you to remember it too? <laughs> yes. Everybody's got that going on to some degree. Yeah. Yes. Enough? Yeah, I think so. Really good. Really good. Really good. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Really good.